Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with something I've never done before. I want to make myself a scarf to tie my hair up. I'm growing my hair out. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's getting longer. It's down my neck, on my shoulders, and it's starting to bother me. And it's getting hot here in Texas. And I am getting weak. Weak! <laughs> because it's just too stinking hot to have long hair here. Um, so... What I've decided to do is to make my own head tie, band, scarf, rag, do I don't know, whatever you call it. And I have some markers that are meant for fabric by Sharpie. And I'm going to use those to make a design on a cotton sheet that I had tried to repair in the past and it didn't work. This is the same sheet that I dyed... Um, I don't know if I put it in a YouTube video or not. Uh, I dyed with um, P.H. Martin's inks. So I just took a wide strip and ripped it, and it was very wrinkly. And this is the raw, it's all raw edge. You can see there's like threads everywhere, but I'm not going to sew it yet. I want to do my design first because I want it to lay nice and flat. I don't want to have to fool around with the bump on the hem. Um, so I'm going to do the whole design on this. I don't even know how wide this is. Let me see. Ha <laughs> ha! It's approximately six, five and five and seven eighths inches wide, and it's kind of long. I don't know if I will use the whole thing or not on my head, but I really would like to do design on here in case I want to rip it up and use it for journals. But I'm going to do the whole thing, and then I will decide later how much of it I'm going to use. So, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do this. I think um, I'm just going to pick a design and start drawing and filling it in. So, most of this will be fast-forwarded because, honestly, it's probably not that intellectually stimulating for you but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back up here I ironed with it earlier with a towel over it and it started to pucker and I was like uh oh better get that off the table and then I messed up my acrylic I have a acrylic thing here I'm hoping it's not permanently ruined from the heat but it also kind of warped so do plexi glassy stuff whatever it is all right so now this is strictly drawing i'm not sure if i'm going to tape it on here but i doubt it so we'll see how well this goes i don't know wish me luck okay so these are sharpie markers that are fabric markers and i have that's not a fabric marker i have a red a purple a pink um, a kind of a cross between a teal and a real blue, an orange, a yellow, a green, a black. And then I found these in my stuff. These are um, Pentel gel rollers for fabric. I don't know what color this is. I guess it's black. And I can outline my stuff with this. Waterproof pigment ink is what it says. I don't know what color it is. I will do it on a piece of paper. Yeah. I can outline my stuff with this. Anyway, so I'm going to start with these, and that's all I'm going to use is these because these are the only fabric things I have besides these three pens here. And I, I want it to be able to go in the wash when it gets sweaty or nasty. So that's what I'm going to use. All right, so let me get started. And yes, this will be fast forward because this thing is really long, and I don't think you want to watch every inch of it. Okay, I'm going to get started now.
Okay, I want you to come on and interject some um, observation from doing this. I wasn't going to talk through the video, but I decided to go ahead and at least do this part. So what I've learned from this is Sharpie colors, these Sharpie colors, some are more neon colors like the orange and the pink, which I don't particularly care for. But, you know, it's what I have and it's what I'm going to work with. So starting out with that, that's fine. You can't do a lot of highlights unless you draw it on with the black pen first. Right. Okay, so then I decided I would draw stuff on with the black gel pen first. Then I would put on one layer of dark color and then go back with another layer on top of that to try to make highlights or some kind of a dimensional look. Then as I'm sitting here painting, I'm thinking, well, I got a lot of white space, so I need to do something about the all white space on this. I thought, well, okay, I'll use these bright colors and then I will take tea and I will tea dye this thing. And then I thought, oh, what a pain. I'm not, I really don't want to do that. Although I would, but I decided I probably was too lazy for that. <laughs> I don't want to do it. All right, then I remembered I have the um, PH Martin India inks and I thought they are. Um, able to be washed and I thought well why am I doing this with just restricting myself with the sharpies so then I mixed up some of the India ink with water and watered it down and it does give a lighter color and no it doesn't come off um, and then I thought well I would like a background I don't think I want all white so then I diluted the teal yeah, this is the teal. Um, oh, it says green, excuse me. This says green, but it looks like teal. Um, and then watered it down with water and then just kind of tapped it on. Now, when I did it on dry fabric, like this end, I was really scared it was going to mess up the Sharpies, but guess what? It doesn't. It doesn't really bleed that much into the Sharpies you see very little bleeding into the Sharpies. And if it's only a teeny bit, it's no big deal. And if it's a lot, it's no big deal either. This is an experiment anyway. Um, but I like, I like the way it looks. I'm not sure if I had done the whole thing in the, in the um, dye first, I would have gotten the same vibrance from these colors. But I'm thinking maybe even so, I still might tea dye this to kind of tone it down a little bit. Because it's kind of bright. Um, so I'm continuing on with the um, paint, but I, I have other chores I need to attend to today. <laughs> so, you know, we might need clean clothes or a meal to eat. So I can't sit here and do this hour upon hour upon hour on camera. Besides, it would make this too stinking long anyway. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue and I'm not going to film because I'm going to sit down and do here, there, and yonder while I have time. And then I will come back and show you the finished product before I dye it in tea, weak tea. And then I will um, show you what it looks like after it's been tea dyed. But I'm going to let this dry because I think maybe when I did this, I forgot that I need a little background flowers in here. So I'm going to have to go back with Sharpie and the gel pen, the black gel. This is Pentel gel roller for fabric. I'm going to go back and um, draw my flowers in there. I just noticed that has a number on it. This is 10 millimeter, 1, 1.0 millimeter ball. What's this one? 1.0. I have a third one around here somewhere. Here it is. Oh, they're all the same size. Okay, I thought, ooh, they have different sizes. That'd be great. Nope, not these. These are all the same size. Anyway, so I think I'm going to let this dry. No, I'm not. I'm going to blow dry it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm going to blow dry it. See what it looks like. All right, I'm going to do that, and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I told a big fat lie. Two lies in this video. <laughs> First one was, it doesn't bleed on Sharpie. Guess what? The India ink, I spilled it out of this little daisy tray that I have here, this. I forgot it had stuff in it. I was trying to move it closer to me, and when I did, blah, 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 right on there. Yeah, who cares? It's going to be in my hair. 
but it is disturbing. So if you don't like these kind of mistakes, you just put in hours and hours of work like all day on this and you don't want to toss it because it's not perfect. I'm certainly not going to, but I did get out of cleaning the garage, just saying. All right, uh, okay, so I put this on my head and I'm gonna cut this off because I'm like over it. <laughs> as soon as I finish filling in this last little bit, then I will um, heat set it. I don't know if it has to be, but I'm doing it. And then I'm going to sew a seam all around it because I hate these strings. They're driving me nuts. And um, I had every intention. I knew that flowers would be bent over the ed edge and I really don't care. Um, so it's almost done. I'll be back for the next phase. Okay, so I can't remember <laughs> I can't remember the last time when I recorded what I said. All right, <laughs> so since the last time I recorded, I did at least sew the ends of the cloth. I at least got that done, and I cut the threads. Aren't y'all proud? Yay! Okay, so I hate to sew. So what I'm going to do tonight is, instead of using straight pins, I'm just going to go along here and fold up the edge. I don't know if I want to do it over and then over again. I feel like that's overkill. <laughs> over and over again is overkill. <laughs> All right, anyway, so I'm going to fold the edges up. And so, see, I didn't do anything to the raw edge. I didn't tuck it under. And this one's really big. Um, my mom used to have a serger, but I gave it to my niece. But, you know, I don't know if I need to double sew it here or what I need to do to I really don't care. This is just for me, and I'm just playing around to see what the fabric markers were like. So here it is. And when I was looking at it, I was like, I like it from here down. The rest of it, I'm like, eh, it's okay. <laughs> see, when you start, you're very enthusiastic in the beginning, and it's very busy and crowded and lovely, and then you're like, oh, my God, there's so much space in here. And then we had the spillage incident. And at the end, you're like, oh, foo, I'm done. <laughs> so let me show you what I did. I cut off the end of it. And I'm a nincompoop. I started drawing on it right away. I should have left it on the end and finished it. Anyway, so I'm going to spend tonight ironing the edge jizz and deciding what I want to do about this. If I want to eyeball it and do it this way and then sew it back again, I have a feeling that I'm going to need to do that because this stuff unravels and is very stringy. I didn't really want big bulky seams and stuff on it, but I might have to because you can see the strings are just going crazy. Anywho, I just thought I'd show it to you so you can see that it is finished. And I didn't work on it last night for a while because I had to let it dry. And I wanted to dry it without blow drying it. Heat gun. Using the heat gun so I not blow drying. It's not hair. Anyway, so I'm going to do the sewing. And then I guess I will be back for the end of the video with what it looks like all sewn. Now, remember, I do not like to sew. I can do sort of a sewing thing here. I can sew paper fine, and I can cut strings, but anything other than that, I have no clue what I'm doing, and I took home Mick like in the 1900s. <laughs> so it's going to look pretty bad, I think. I'm hopefully optimistic it only looks pretty bad. <laughs> All right, I got to iron and sew. I'm going to watch uh, true crime stuff. And then I'm going, that's why I'm going to not record it because then I'll have to mute it and fast forward it and blah, blah. So just going to hem, iron and hem and sew and be done. I'll be back. Oh, mercy. Okay, so I finished sewing the edges. I hope no one who sews is watching this because you will be like, Lord, that girl cannot sew. I tried to tell you, it's really horrible. I do not sew. 
I went off the edge and then back on and then had <laughs> so the second row and okay so the whole point of this was just to make a nice little scarf <laughs> to wear on my head I went in the bathroom and tried to tie it on it doesn't fit <laughs> it does not fit when I cut off this extra edge that's the edge I needed to make the ends of the bow stick out a little bit, so now it's too short. I have to start all over. I don't think so. You know, Walmart, Walmart makes lovely headbands and clips for long hair. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, so I, I proved that a regular bed sheet, a white bed sheet, makes a great canvas for these Sharpie stained markers. They say they, they're they stained by Sharpie fabric marker. And I noticed something cool last night when I was working on it. These tubes were clear and then they put the logo and stuff on top of them or it's imprinted on it. But the cool thing is, is that you can see if you have any ink because the top part of the logo is empty. You know, you can see through the tube, and you can see the pink ink floating down into the tube. So you know when you can't see any more ink go down when you're writing with it, it all gone. <laughs> I discovered that because I'm such a rocket scientist. <laughs> anyway, so it's it bleeds through. I mean, it's a Sharpie marker. Come on, we all know it bleeds through paper. Why wouldn't I think it bleed through material? But it looks pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't look so ugly on the back side. I mean, it's kind of indistinguishable, the detail and stuff on the back side, but it's okay, I don't really care. <laughs> now that I know it doesn't fit, I really don't care. Anyway, so this is the back side. Even with the um, PH Martin's ink, it's not horrible. Now you can see where the the big spill was right through here. It like spilled right in here. I said a few choice words when I did that. I won't repeat them. Anyway, so there it is. All done and doesn't fit. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I have to laugh because now I realize I am determined to get one that'll fit. So now I got to do this again. Oh. <laughs> you know, I might put this around a journal and tie it in a bow and call it a day. <laughs> when I tell y'all in the last video, sometimes the way you picture it's going to turn out is not always the way it works. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> there it is. Hours and hours and hours of drawing and painting and oh, <laughs> and 10 minutes of really bad sewing. I don't know what to do with it now. If y'all have any suggestions, please put it, please put it in the message section in the comments because I don't know what to do with it now. <laughs> Maybe I should rip it, cut through the... <laughs> childish sewing and rip it into shreds and then use it for uh, closing journals. I mean, I don't think it would be a horrible thing to have a flowered, miscellaneous, colorful, flowered material around a journal, right? Although it's not my thing, but <laughs> I can't wear it on my head. <laughs> okay, I guess this is not gonna work. Oh, fooey. Alrighty. <laughs> this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio, the incompetent sewer. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>